Okay, this is our first Jupyter Notebook that we are going to examine. Um, Jupyter is a web-based interactive computational environment that offers introspection during the execution of Python commands from our TRIA DB InterSystems Cache Client API. Now, let's reset the Jupyter kernel to clear the output. In uh, this cell, we create a triad framework object that is connected to a local host InterSystems Cache DBMS and an InterSystems uh, Cache database uh, by the name TriaDB. This is the InterSystems Cache server that is running on the background. We view the global permanent data structure of the database, which is a multi-dimensional sparse associative array. Back to our Jupyter notebook. We also pass the username and password for the user that has roles and privileges in a specific namespace. And we run. We execute the cell. The debug level shows that the constructor of our triad framework has created four interfaces. And this reflects the hierarchical organization of high-level programming structures that are included in the software architecture of our Python package. The developer stands at the highest level and uses only methods of the triad object um, to perform various operations in our database framework. For example, we wish to reset and rebuild completely the present framework for our user. So we run all the cells below, run, notice that the output can take the form of rich media such as Python pandas tables and Python network X graphs that we will see in another notebook. For the moment, we want to show that there are two main functional methods um, of our tri triad object, add and get. These share a similar syntax with keyword arguments such as what and um, from. The learning cycle for the developer is minimal, as the same few commands and their parameters are used over and over again. Another uh, critical, fundamental aspect of our database framework is the semiotic architectural design. Every structure is represented with a key. It is an identifier with four numerical dimensions that signifies a hierarchical structure of containers, instances of a type, types of a system, systems of an environment. That characterizes also TriaDB as a reference database management system. We manage relations and references to single instance data values. A closer inspection of the result we have just taken by running the triad.get uh, command reveals that we have created four environments. One for data types, another for data sets, an another for data models, and yet another for data resources. 
the last two are managed interactively and directly by the user and the first two are playing a supplementary indirect role for data ingestion and correlation. In the next video, we present the sequence of steps you have to follow in order to learn how you can add models and load data from flat files into TriaDB framework.